Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, webs.com. They offer free websites. You're going to have to make up an email address or you, you can use your real email address and create the account. I use my Hotmail account because uh, I, that's kind of my junk account where I don't check it very often. It's just for things like this. And you're going to need to create a password that you can remember. Because if you don't upload everything today, you don't need to come back to it. And then we're just going to do it as a personal website. Then click Get Started. And they have lots of templates, templates to pick. But we're not using the template because we're more advanced than that. We're going to do the HTML only mode. It's very important that you click that. And this is tough. Sometimes I don't get these right either. So you type in, this is making sure you're not a um, machine trying to hack into their system. You have to type in this text. So type it in. Hope you get it right. If you don't, it's okay. You can try it again. Alright, now you're going to create a domain name. The free domains are at webs.com. You can do a .com, but you'd have to pay for a domain, which we're not going to do. So this is my business website. Yours may be the Decades Project. It depends on how I want you to use it. Type in a, your initials and the name of it. And then you'll get here where you upload multiple files. You can't do a bunch of files at one time because we're not paying for it. It's free. We're going to delete their index file because index by default is the home page. We have to have an index page. So when I go to browse, I'm going to go to my student folder. I'm going to take whatever home page I have and if it's not indexed already, in this case it's not because this is an older project for someone else, um, you can rename it. The problem with renaming it is when you link it back to home it's not going to work because it's now index.html instead of whatever it was. So you'd have to fix those links. But if you've done it right in the first place, you should have saved your home page as an index, which is your frames. So you need to go through and upload every single file. And yes, you have to upload images also. Upload everything that you want to work in the website. If you created an images folder for your images, you'll need to click, click, um, click on new folder and put it in there. And as you can see here, I went ahead and um, put all the files in. Index is going to be my home page. That's where it, uh, by default it goes to. And now from the from my house or anywhere else in the world web, world wide web, I can go to that URL and should be able to see my website. And it should work. Now some things will not work because Arachnophilia will forgive some errors that the actual upload will not. So that's when you'll have to troubleshoot and make sure everything works. And you're going to use this URL. You're going to copy it. And then you're going to go back to Moodle. And there's going to be a form. And you add a new discussion topic. And you type in the, your name, business website, or decade, or chicken, whatever you're working on and you um, will copy and paste you copy the paste the URL and various, I want you to highlight it click on the chain link button paste the URL this creates it as a link and also a new window and give it a title new window is very important because that pops up as a new window and, and it saves everybody else a lot of time and it'll save me time in grading it which will make your um, project have more points because five points if you don't do that. So when you get finished doing that post the form, click con continue and then you and your classmates can go to the URL by clicking it. It pops up in a new tab and I will grade it from here.